It's Tonga Vailoa circling out of the pocket again and sprinting down the sideline. Touchdown! Talia Tonga Vailoa, Tua's younger brother, has shown why he was well recruited as well. Obviously, his brother, um, with all the success that he had at uh, Alabama, there's a lot of hype surrounding the name. You talk about some talent in that household. I've known Leah since my first year at Bama in 2016 when Alabama was recruiting Tua. Getting to know Tua was like getting to know Leah because all of a sudden Tua's here on our team and now Leah's here and they're down for games, they're down for practices. Coach Locke, he was very close to my brother and I'd always FaceTime my brother and, and while he was at meetings or staying late night with Coach Locks. We found pretty quickly Talia is a pretty skilled, good quarterback as well. He threw for over 14,000 yards as a high school prep player. The fact that he played at Bama in six games and some mop-up duty shows that he was very capable of being able to play at that level. So was shocked when he went into the portal and even um, more happy and excited when we had an opportunity to land him. One, two, three. When I was making the decision to come to Maryland, I wanted to really just do my own thing and become my own person, knowing that two was set wherever he goes in the NFL. So my family's built off of trust, and you know they they trust Coach Locks a lot. So you know that's the biggest thing for us, and here I am at Maryland. Having worked with Tua and now working with him, they're like on two sides of the spectrum. Tua is this loosey-goosey personality, infectious smile. Leah's kind of more, and I, I use the term, more like a, uh, you know, a hitman. Anything regarding football, he always kind of scales it against his brother. He's like, if I can beat Tua, I feel like I can beat anybody. So I feel like that's the kind of competitive nature that we need, and it's something good. There's always somebody that you kind of weigh your success against, and I feel like it's pretty cool to uh, be able to do that against your older brother. My family's everything to me. I represent my last name everywhere I go. Me and Tua, the comparison and stuff like that, I feel like never gonna get away from any of that because that's my brother. So people are always gonna try to compare us. Everything with Tua's little brother, I mean, I don't, I don't mind that at all. You know, that's my big brother. He embraces being Tua's little brother. He embraces being a tongue of Iloa. He doesn't shy away from it. He's uber competitive. He wants to shine in this system and show, prove himself right. That, hey, I'm as good, if not better. Football is a game of life. You learn a lot of lessons from it. There's a lot of ups and downs, so you know you're never going to be comfortable in football. Tonga by law intercepted. He overthrew Rakim Jarrett. It was a rough first name. Down the middle, looking for Demas, and it's intercepted again. Northwestern, they're a very good team, very disciplined team. And, um, you know, I just try to force balls down the field that wasn't there. After throwing those two interceptions, Talia Tungabailoa has not settled down. After he threw the interception, he kind of abandoned his training and started trying to force things. Maybe felt the pressure of trying to prove people that he is a Tongue of Ilo, or he is a big time quarterback. There was no lost faith or anything, um, just by one bad performance. We've seen what he can do in practice, and that definitely showed up uh, game two. This is over the middle, and Jay Sean Jones is absolutely gone. Against Minnesota, I felt like it was a new opportunity for, for all of us. Tongue of Ilo on first down, a strike for a touchdown. It was just me taking what the defense gives us. I feel like you know, that was a new start. <laughs> he played within the system in the Minnesota game. He had a great grasp of the game plan. Tonga by Law with the stretch for the touchdown. The game slowed down for him, per se, to where he was able to make the right kind of decisions at the right time. He's done everything he can to be the hero for Maryland. And then to back it up with the, the next week against a traditional power like Penn State a program that has had Maryland's number for a lot of years. Jarrett is in for the first touchdown for Maryland. As a quarterback, you want to have the mind of a coach with the skill of a player. He performed with the mind of a coach. The touchdown pass he threw to Dante Demas 
on the sprint out. The go route is really not even part of the read. Tungavailoa rolling out and on the run. He's got a wide open receiver for the Maryland touchdown. It's been great being able to have my hand on him uh, in a teaching capacity and to see that he's gotten better each and every week. He's got so much football left ahead of him. He's just starting to scratch the surface of the type of player he can be.